Born a slave around July 12, 1864, George Washington Carver became a scientist of international renown. On January 21, 1921, George Washington Carver addressed the United States House Ways and Means Committee on behalf of the United Peanut Growers Association on the use of peanuts to improve Southern economy. Initially given 10 minutes to speak, the committee was so captivated his time was extended. Explaining the many products derived from the peanut, including milk, mock beef, and mock chicken, George Washington Carver stated, if you go to the first chapter of Genesis, we can interpret very clearly, I think, what God intended when he said, behold, I have given you every herb that bears seed. To you, it shall be meat. This is what he means about it. It shall be meat. There is everything there to strengthen and nourish and keep the body alive and healthy. After nearly two hours, the chairman asked, Dr. Carver, how did you learn all these things? Carver answered, from an old book. What book? Asked the chairman. Carver replied, the Bible. The chairman inquired, does the Bible tell about peanuts? No, sir, Dr. Carver replied. It tells about the God who made the peanut. I asked him to show me what to do with the peanut, and he did.